First tonight, it's a fight over how your children are being taught in Missouri schools. The superintendents from across the state, including several right here in the metro, are now concerned about Governor Eric Greitens' vision for education. Many even traveled to Jeff City today as a critical vote took place over who leads the future of Missouri schools. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez breaks down the concern and why today's vote mattered. Rianne, in this morning's Missouri's top education official survived a vote that would have cost her her job, but she's not out of the woods just yet. With a tie vote, Missouri Education Commissioner Margie Van Dieven kept her job today. She is highly respected. I would like to see her continue in that position, and we continue to make progress. During the last two months, Governor Eric Greitens has filled five out of the eight seats on the State Board of Education with his appointees. The goal to get rid of Van Dieven. He even made an appointment less than an hour before this morning's vote. The governor hasn't been clear why he wants Van Dieven out. This lack of transparency has stumped superintendents across the state, including Dr. Dan Clemens in North Kansas City. It's hard for me to, to tell what's going on with the governor. He hasn't released a press release or, or communicated with superintendents throughout the state. So um, I don't know what he was thinking by making the assignment. Educators believe the governor wants to increase the number of charter schools within Missouri under the belief that it would promote competition. Public schools disagree. In North Kansas City, we, we compete with each other. Um, we have lots of opportunities to, to show that, whether it be through our National Blue Ribbon schools, our Missouri Star schools, other programs like that. Dr. Clemens points out charter schools aren't always successful. They've lost some resources um, to the charter schools, which makes it difficult for them to have all the programming needed to have successful schools and comprehensive high schools. This afternoon, Governor Greitens wrote a lengthy statement about education, but never mentioned the vote. Meanwhile, Van Dieven released a one sentence statement that read, quote, I look forward to the focus returning to educating our children. And now the State Board of Education does meet again on December 1st. Live at the newsroom, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Andres